more unsettled by what happened the first few weeks than other teams that but are having defensive struggles. Don't you think that's a good thing? I do think it's that's a good a thing good, because right, you don't want to wait yes. to try to fix we the problem. We got 12 you know weeks it's a problem. left. Fix it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, you know what? Diesel on. Wow. It's time Perfect for. Time. Yeah. Well, not quite. I mean, he literally can see the future. Well, yeah. I mean, that's the whole <laughs> point of the segment. It's time for a segment so hot, my grandmother will watch commercials for it on TV and said, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. It's upset alert. Greg? <laughs> wait. What do you mean, Greg? Oh, first. I'm sorry. We have our standings the first. Standings. Right. Look at Whoa. this. Look at coaching Greg. That's what four weeks in a row of not just covering outright winners. Three of those four weeks in the of those three of those four weeks right after they picked the winner, you heard this. Oh, come on. Yes. By that side of the table, <laughs> yes. Chris Broussard. You deserve double Open for that. My Mockery. problem is I don't understand the rules. Okay, here's the I rules. No rules. Just, just win, just baby. Win. I mean, just there's the rules. win. But, again, just win. I can't read that. It's very simple. I'm old. If you cover, you get one point. If your team wins outright, you get three points plus the amount of points they are underdogs by. So, if you pick a four-point dog and they win outright, you get seven seven. points. Overall, also, just I know it's a competitive. We're trying to, like, snipe other people. It is, so far, a very successful segment. Oh, yeah. And I don't just mean the rules, but, like, we've been winning and being very... Yeah, we've been so smart. Savvy. Yeah, the, trying and, to get you to watch. You know, we're trying exactly. to exactly. Like, you can make money. Team. You can get winners. Who cares and about the yeah, It's not. If it's I don't not get it, listed I want you to get it. on the rules, but just good rule of thumb because this is what got you last week. You are going to end up with zero points if, if you swing. pick the team that is playing the Chiefs. So don't do that like they you did last week. Now? But they're <laughs> uh, on a buy soon. All right, Greg. We definitely did that last week. So you know what? I was looking at these games, and there's a lot of games that I kind of wanted to go with, but this one just kind of tickled my fancy a little bit because it kind of punches at you. Uh oh. And that's the Jacksonville Jaguars over the Chicago Bears in like London. Wow. And guess who's back? The Prince. Prince? The Prince is back. Look, last week he had <laughs> a great game. And I expect he did. he did. I expect for him to build on that against a team. Let me talk about the Bears really quick. A team that's traveling over to London or in London currently without Jaquan B- Brisker. And if you've been watching the Bears at all this year, defensively, that guy shows up and he won't be available. I think Stevenson, the corner, he might yeah. not play. That would be a big blow. Ter- Terrell Smith is already not playing. He's already ruled out. That's a corner. So, Trevor, you got some pieces that are going to be missing on this defense. Take advantage of it. And, oh, by the way, when he's playing in Tottenham. Hot, home of the Hotspur? Yeah. Home of the Hotspur. He hasn't lost. I and really these don't are his like numbers, right, too. Column. Like, look at, look at these numbers. He's 2-0. Wow. Throwing a ball for over 300 yards a game. Look at the touchdown to interception Freaking ratio. Rock He's going to up numbers. those touchdowns. Interceptions, <laughs> they're non existent in this stadium. He doesn't throw interceptions, which are huge for, for Trevor Lawrence. Look at that right side, man. It's, these are all the other stadiums. He's not as great. All the but other over stadiums. here in London, he's back. That's why I said he's won. Like 30 other stadiums. He's, he's won his last two. He's going for three in a row against the lowly Bears that are without a couple oh. pieces on defense. Okay, that, that's that's that unnecessary. Might Sorry. It, it, that's it, a good pick. It may hurt them. What are you I, doing right if now? If you hadn't I'm checking that, the weather. Oh. I think I may have. Not raining. So that's good. that's good. But it's me. always foggy. It's foggy, Wait, but it's. It's good for me. It's good for us, right? You're Prince guy. Well, yeah, not is, in this game. You know what I mean? This is, you guys ever seen the, what was the Macaulay Culkin movie? Oh, where, Home Alone? No. The, he was the evil kid. They had to pick. I don't remember. Our son, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Point is, I'm trying to pick between two of my favorite children. Gotcha. I, and so I'm in a rough spot. Well, Trevor's older. He, he, he's been in the family longer. Trevor, but he's been more disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I am not swinging for the fences this That's week okay. as I did last time because it's not about the points. Okay. It's just about we're a team. This one, I'm going with the Colts. Over the Titans. Wow. One thing we disturbing. Right to Titans <laughs> bad coach to leave us alone already. All right. That was Levis. very wild. What? All right. So I'll play off that. Okay. What makes me feel good is that Will Levis is playing. 
Yeah. He was cleared. He's going to play. <laughs> For and we know what on. left is. The, they won their game last week because I don't know, because he didn't finish the game. Mm-hmm. All right? Yes. And they came back with Mason Rudolph, and yeah. they won their first game of the season. We all know it. Levis is going to make a play or two that cost them this game. What bothers me, and it's kind of similar, and I get where the Colts are. Look, we're not winning the Super Bowl. We're mm-hmm. not getting to the Super Bowl this year. We got to play the young guy. When I made this pick, I was really thinking Joe Flacco. Because Joe, Joe Flacco's five touchdowns, no picks this yeah. year. I mean, he really – his last bag – the playoff game was a bad game. Yeah. But outside of that, he's been great since he's been coming back the last two years. Um, but it looks like Anthony Richardson might end up playing. Now, maybe he'll run wild and use his athleticism. But I think that Titans defense is pretty tough. But – I am going with the Who Colts. Are you picking? I'm, I'm picking, picking the Colts. The Colts. But I'm picking hope, the Colts, Colts but is... in the upset because Levis, I think, is going to do something to get the Colts to win. But and he's sad that I'm it's... Ho- yeah, I, I like Levis to see Flacco. Starting. I felt a little better when it when I thought Flacco was going to start. But it looks like... And could. it still is possible. Now, but it looks like it might be... a personal question. Anthony Richardson. A lot of times, I will see an upset on the board. But I'm like, I don't know if I want them to hold a spot in the quad box. Are you going to be locked in to Titans Colts? No. You have to be. It's part of the rules. It'll be on the set. It'll be on a set. Okay. It'll be on a set. For the record, a lot of times we do have a a group chat flying around. I'm okay with I probably won't be as I will not be as I'm not gonna have that in my I'll have it on TV, but I won't be that won't be the game. Locked in. God, did you see Levis and we're gonna be I'm locked Are you rooting for Levis? Again, I just so you know, speaking of the group chat, how Brew and I feel for the last three years what, what? about every single Patriot update you send. Because <laughs> Miles doesn't have the setup we do. He's no. watching one the no. Patriots game no. and then Reds. No. That's all no. you got. No, I have the quad box. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. I have the quad box on, the, on, the, on my laptop. Yeah, he's got and it. my phone wow. and Red Zone. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm not rolling in it like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple <laughs> televisions. <laughs> I just got a Go ahead. Not with you, bro. Time now for the Pakistani Phil to make his prediction. They say, why do they call you Pakistani Phil of football? Because you're covered in fur and living a log? I say, no, it's just a coincidence because I can see the future. And you might be able to see the future, too, because I think you know what I'm going with. A team that's favored, that's only won one game, only beaten the Carolina Panthers, have lost every other game. Giants over the Bengals straight up. Believe it or not, the Giants are getting points in this one. They're the underdogs against the Bengals, who only won one game against the Carolina Panthers (laughs) and lost to the worst team in the league, which now is starting Drake May, the New England Patriots. So I know what you're thinking. Danny Dimes. You go into any bar in America, and if Greg Jennings is not there, you you can find plenty of uh, Danny Dimes slander. (laughs) But what if I told you? Outside of the Vikings defense, and when, when the Giants played the Vikings, we didn't think the Vikings were that good. So if you take that Vikings game and throw it in the garbage, well, all of a sudden, Danny Dimes is doing okay. 260 yards per game, six touchdowns, and only one interception with a passer rating hovering around 100. Danny Dimes doing his thing. Also, can we didn't even put total yards. Oh, no, we did that put is total yards. Because he can run a little bit, too. He's just <laughs> capable. But is he as good as Joe Burrow? Obviously not. Joe Burrow doesn't have, I'm a quarterback wins guy. When I see a guy with one win, I usually take him down a few points. But he has been doing an excellent job, pass rating super high, completion percentage super high, best ever by a quarterback to start, one in four or worse. He is still nursing that hurt wrist a little bit. He talked about how it's going to get better, so these numbers could get even better. So how are they going to stop Joe Burrow? Because Giants defense, a little susceptible to the long ball. But... When it comes to pressuring and sacks, Giants are number one in sacks. So the only thing you have to do here, you got to attack Joe Burrow, sack Joe Burrow, make him a little squeamish in there, and all of his great numbers have to come down a little bit. But here's the thing. I know you're saying Malik Neighbors, concussion protocol, still he's out. He was out the last game against the Seahawks. Sure was. And remember how many targets a game Neighbors was getting? Uh, 40 a game. (laughs) So now uh, Danny Dimes has to throw it around. So everyone started to get the ball. Slayton got the ball. Eric Gray got the ball. Theo Johnson had five catches for you. So now Dan- Danny Dimes looking around. So Giants straight up 
over the Bengals. Brew, I have good news for you before we get to Nick's picks. You're going to be the only winner this week. <laughs> That's how you make a comeback. You're drawing dead. I don't think so. And you, I, I, I don't, I, the Jags, I don't know if Doug Peterson, he, I hope he has a, a loft in London because he might be staying over there. All right, Wilds, what's the time, time now for? Time for Nick's picks. Time for Nick's picks coming off. Oh, it's been too long since I've been able to say this. Show it to us. Show, oh, a three and oh week. Uh, yeah, straight up winner as a seven and a half point dog, the Cardinals. Straight up winner as a two point favorite up 17 nothing. And never a doubt the Patriots. The Patriots were a favorite last week, yeah, America. Well, That's how you get to nine and six on the year. Now, one important trend before we get to my first pick of the week. This year, there have been 35 instances of teams being five and a half point favorites, or I'm sorry, 25 instances of teams being five and a half point favorites or greater. Those dogs are 19, five and one wow. big dogs. They are they are 13 and 12 straight up. Wow. And 19, wow. five and one. Okay. So we are going with three dogs. Huge ones. Three big dogs. Mm. First one. Mm. Brew, you're going to agree with me here. Washington getting seven at Baltimore. It's just too many damn points. The back door is going to be wide open the whole game. I know what you're saying. Baltimore against the NFC, Lamar against the NFC, he's 21 and 1. He is straight up. You know what he is against the spread? 11 and 11. Oh. Lamar, the last four years, is a favorite bigger than three points. 7 and 18. My guy doesn't like covering a big number. He's too courteous. He's like, ah, it gives him some confidence at the end of the game. <laughs> Washington plus seven. Next. Oh, man, Kyler Murray, best week of his life? I don't know. He just partnered with his favorite brand ever, Call of Duty. Got a big win over the San Francisco 49ers. Now he's looking for us to feel like, hey, Jordan Love, why are you better than me? Why? Totally agree. It, since when? We were drafted around the same time. You just sat out. Nobody picked you apart. I'm out here taking the team to the playoff, get my ACL blown. People caring about my video game and habits. I think I'm better than you. Cardinals also. Kyler, 11-3-2 against the spread on the road as a four-point dog or greater. Five and a half point dog. I don't love that the Packers have been playing. Jordan Love went full Levitz last week. Take the Cardinals plus points. They might win straight up. And then last but not least, Cleveland getting nine and a half. That is too many points. Wilds, I'm going to convince you with this. Yeah. What's Andy Reid off a of bye is what? Like really, really unbeatable, basically, yeah. right? Great coach, extra time. The corollary of that, the worse coach you are, the worse you are with extra time. You saw Bob Sala? Bob Sala had a Thursday game. Didn't play again until the next Sunday. All of a sudden scored nine points against the Broncos, fired a week later. You gave Nick Sirianni two weeks to be in the lab to cook. That ain't great for Philadelphia. Also, Jalen Hurts is a favorite greater than seven. Last eight times, one and seven against the spread. I'm not saying Cleveland's going to win. I'm saying the Philadelphia Eagles have been one of the five worst teams in the NFL for their last 14 games. They should not be laying 10 points, essentially, against anyone. Grab those nine and a half. So Washington plus seven, Arizona plus five and a half, Cleveland plus nine and a half, another three in a week, and you get we to could, 12 and six. Oh, my goodness. We could all we could be six and oh this week. We, we couldn't be because the Giants aren't going to be the Bengals. Yeah, but you don't have that. But we could be 6-0. and Oh, yes. We have no That's conflicts. Yeah, sometimes we're conflicted, oh, but we yeah, have a yeah. chance. At... Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.